Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. Today's program is important for the more than 130,000 Vermonters who receive their health insurance through Medicare. In a move designed to prevent fraud and identity theft, Medicare recipients will soon be receiving a new Medicare card. But already, scammers are taking aim at those receiving new cards. And in Vermont, that means that there are 131,381 Medicare recipients who are at risk. So today, we're calling on a Vermonter who's an expert on Medicare. I want to welcome Mike McLeese. Mike's job is to educate people to avoid Medicare fraud and scams. And this is a critically important to the topic for senior Vermonters. So, Mike, I want to thank you very much for joining us today. Hi, Judy. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Appreciate that. Let's get a little bit of background here. You are from the community of Vermont Elders, which is also known as Cove. Tell us what Cove does. Well, Cove has been around since 1981, and we are an advocacy and educational nonprofit. An advocacy in the sense that we have a full time lobbyist down in Montpelier uh, working f on the issues for older Vermonters, senior citizens. We want to we want to keep uh, the issues of our seniors in the spotlight down there. Now, Cove administers a program called the Senior Medicare Patrol, or SMP. What does SMP do in Vermont, and how do you fit into that? Well, I work in the SMP program, and that is Senior Medicare Patrol. Mm -hmm. I am called an outreach and volunteer coordinator. But uh, the SMP program meets the educational component of Cove. Uh, we have two programs, uh, Building Bridges program, uh, which is actually an arm of the SMP. Now, the SMP program, there is one in all 50 states. People don't realize that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then four of of our U.S. protectorates. Um, I'm not sure what those are, but we but we we're here and we've been here for, uh, since 2009. I think is when the SMP started, mm -hmm. and uh, specifically we are here to help educate older Vermonters how to prevent becoming the victim of a scam or fraud of Medicare. Can you give a brief description of the latest scams that uh, have been targeting Vermonters? Yeah, you know, this one is a bit insidious. So we're going to talk, I guess, at length about the new Medicare card rollout. Right. But uh, now scammers uh, are calling up uh, Vermonters, uh, seniors who, who they know that they're on Medicare, and asking them to give money uh, so that they can get their card early. Yeah, you know, so it's really kind of evil. And th let me just say right off, I want to say many times today to people who may be tuning in, Medicare is never going to call you. That's not going to happen. So if you get a phone call, you're at home, and the person says, I'm from Medicare, hang up. You know immediately that's wrong. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like to engage with these folks. And I always tell people when I'm giving presentations, because we like to think that maybe we can outsmart the scammer, mm -hmm. you know, and it can be fun. I think I used to do that, too, mm -hmm. but I don't do that anymore, because the longer you're on the phone with one of these folks, there's a greater chance that they could get some snippet of information about you. Just hang up. And just keep calling you back. That's right. So what can you tell us about the new Medicare card rollout and how it affects Vermonters? Well. So the new Medicare rollout is starting now in April, and this is going to happen through the next year, through uh, April of 2019. And it's not only affecting Vermonters, but every person, every Medicare beneficiary in the United States and those protectorates are going to get a new card. Uh, the reason is, is because your old card has your Social Security number on it. You know, that was not the, the best thing. You know, we know that now. And so for people who are experts at scams and fraud, once they got your card, you know, if you give them your number, if you lose it, they have entree to all of your financial history, to, you know, to all of that. So that's really not a good deal. Yeah, your, your Social Security number is sort of the key to the kingdom when it comes to personal information. That's correct. So finally, uh, CMS, or Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, uh, realize that we've got to change that. So it's a huge effort, and they're training us so that we, in turn, can go out into the community and come here on the, across the fences and, uh, and giving presentations about this rollout so that people uh, don't have to be nervous or scared about it uh, because it's just very simple. You're going to get a new card in the mail, and you should tear up your old one. Shredding is the very best thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a good thing, however, because there were concerns, well, maybe what if the new card doesn't work and then you go to the doctor? Uh, the, the good thing is, is that your old card 
your social security number will still work for you mm -hmm. through the end of 2019. Okay. So you can get rid of that old card because you know your social security number. Mm -hmm. Are there any scams already happening here in Vermont associated with the new cards? Uh, yeah, just the one that I talked about. We mm -hmm. have we have seen the emergence of that just in the last two weeks here in Vermont uh, that people are calling seniors and trying to get money. Fifteen dollars. It doesn't sound like a lot. Twenty-five dollars, mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll send you your card. You know. Uh, don't do that. Hang up on them. But right. then there are lots of other scams, too, that are happening, you know, that where tar uh, seniors are being targeted. Can you give me an example of another kind? Yeah, yeah. There's two in particular I want to talk about because I, I personally find them insidious. Um, one that was occurring last fall in the St. Johnsbury area, uh, the scammers have this amazing technology at their disposal now through Google and many other methods. You can get a phone number. You know, you can get a phone number. And so they're finding ways to, when they call you that on your caller ID, it will show up as a Vermont number. And now they can even choose the town, you know, uh, the area that you're in. So wow. they were calling up people pretending to be from the hospital there and saying, you've got a bill. Did you know, are you aware of that? And they make it kind of low, like $147.92. That's kind of believable. Mm -hmm. And people were falling for that and they were giving their credit card information out. Oh boy. Yeah, so that was happening. Um, and then another one is a big one uh, that's pretty awful. And I think all of us have, maybe at times you've gotten cable television or some service and the, the person on the phone will say, for, we need to have your permission to do this. Can we record your voice saying that you accept this? Perfectly legitimate, right? So the scammers are doing this now, and they uh, they will call you up and say, "Mrs. Jones, I'm so and so from, uh, and can you hear me?" And the, you may say, "What?" And the person will say, "Can you hear me?" And if you say yes, they've got your voice recorded, and whatever devious thing that they have come up with to sell you or to engage with you on, they now have your that permission. You know, this is really rather disturbing. <laughs> I mean, how do you, you know, you were, you were yes. talking about how you get this information out, this important information out without scaring people. Well, you know, that, that is a hard thing for me because I want to talk a little bit about the S&P program, what we do that is good, that mm -hmm. can help people feel protected. And when we educate ourselves, we have power. You right. know, we have, we can protect ourselves. Uh, but yes, when we, when I give a full fraud presentation, uh, some, I was noticing that people were getting very scared, and I thought, oh no, these folks are going to go hide under their bed when this is <laughs> over, and I, I don't like that. And what I tell people now, I try throughout the presentation to say, this is just information which will empower you, not to frighten you. You know, uh, I still believe personally that most people are good. Mm -hmm. I really do. It, it's just that the few people who are doing this are doing it from all over the world. It's not just the U.S. And they have a lot of big guns technologically mm -hmm. to use to get this done. Yeah. Right. And so what should someone do if they get a scammer call or if they make a mistake and give out personal information? Well, it happens. It happens. And uh, the first thing I would advise is to call us at Cove uh, Community Vermont Elders. And mm -hmm. that number is 888-865-2863. If you call that number, you may get me, you might get my supervisor, one of us, and we will direct you from there. You can also uh, reach us on our website, which is www.vermonteelders.org. Also, uh, you could call Medicare. You know, you could call, actually call Medicare. The number is easy. It's 1-800-MEDICARE. Mm -hmm. uh, another website, you can go to the Medicare website, which is just that, medicare.gov, mm -hmm. www. Um, but this one, I would really advise people to think about this. Some seniors don't really care about the internet. That's fine. Well, maybe you have a daughter or a caregiver, a neighbor, somebody who will work with you on that. If you go to mymedicare.gov, you can set up your own account. I highly recommend this mm -hmm. because then you can track what's going on with your Medicare services, with your health, you know, with the visits to your doctors, many, many things you can accomplish. But the big thing is, if that happens, if you lose your card, you can report that on mymedicare.gov and you can print out a new card. That's true. You couldn't do that before because it's your social security number, but right. now you have the ability to print that card out if you lose it. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit again about um, what Vermonters need to know about this new Medicare card rollout. Well, it's gonna happen in June. That's what we're, we're telling us our uh, CMS or Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services tells us that we're going to see the cards begin in June for Vermonters. Now that's gonna take three or four weeks, maybe a little bit longer. So 
uh, I did hear that people who just got there, who just turned 65, those people are at the front of the line. Don't mm -hmm. know how they came up with this. But people who've been on Medicare for quite a while will be the last ones to receive their cards when the batches come out. Mm -hmm. So don't panic if you don't get yours. If you are near the end of June and your neighbor's gotten one and your friend, uh, don't panic. You know. Now, if you're getting into July and you still don't have one, then you might give a call to 1-800-MEDICARE. Mm -hmm. But don't worry about it till after the 4th of don't July. Worry, don't worry <laughs> about it. That's right. That's right. And, and the good thing is your current card is not going to be invalid. Right. Um, and also, too, if someone calls you saying you can get it early, that's not going to Hang happen. up. Hang up. Yes. What should uh, recipients do when they get their new card? Well, they should, do, they should tear up the old one immediately. Mm -hmm. Again, it's your social security card, and you don't want that out. So uh, shred it up. If you don't have a shredder, get some scissors and just cut through it in four or five ways and mm -hmm. burn it. <laughs> now, we should mention, too, that um, what you do is actually go out into the community and talk to folks about this. That's right, and that's through the SMP program, which is a federally funded program, uh, which is administered through COVE. Uh, the the SMP program must be administered through nonprofits. And, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to tell people. I know that Medicare doesn't, it sounds kind of boring, but we try to make it fun. Uh, we've come up with a signature presentation series, Judy, mm -hmm. and what that is, uh, we, we don't want to just educate or give information to folks. We want to get to know you. We want to engage with you and uh, get a relationship going. And that's the best way, you know, that we can help you to protect yourselves and how we get to know you a little bit. So the first, uh, the first presentation is usually one on fraud in general. Mm -hmm. uh, the what could happen to anybody. It's important. Right. To, we all know that, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next one uh, would be uh, on Medicare fraud, which I give that one. Uh, then we do one on what's called a Medicare summary notice. So any of you out there who have a Medicare know that, that every quarter you get the MSN or Medicare summary notice. Notice, which, by the way, is the most important tool on discovering if there's a problem, if there's abuse going on or fraud with your health care. Uh, you, we can often find it through that. Talk a little bit, too, about how important this is from a cost perspective. Well, yeah, people, uh, when I took this job and found this out, I, I was shocked. I was astounded. And I always ask at a presentation to people to throw out a number how much they think is being stolen out of our Medicare health care system each year. And do you want to make a guess, Judy? Uh, I know the number, so I'm not okay. going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, that's true. I told you. But uh, it's so big. It's $90 billion. That's uh, unbelievable. Up to, and possibly going into the $120, $140 billion. It's really hard to put a number an exact number on it, but it's definitely up to 90 billion per year. Wow. And if we could imagine, if, if we can work with seniors and caregivers and, and all of us to try to prevent much of that fraud, imagine what that would do for the solvency of the program. Imagine right. what that would do for right now and maybe even increasing benefits. So it's, it's big, it's a big business. You mentioned something earlier, too. You said, and caregivers. That's another aspect we haven't talked about, because if you have an, a parent, uh, you are going to be taking over this responsibility for your parent, most likely, at yeah, some point. Yeah, uh, that's right. So we, we often give presentations at independent living centers where people are still very independent, just living in a retirement home mm -hmm. group uh, setting. But people who are in nursing homes who maybe have advanced dementia or other disabilities, and they have to have family or caregivers who have become their health care power of attorney. Um, yeah, it is so vital for those folks to know the same information. Uh, because there is a lag time there, you know, and people don't realize, oh, I need to be on top of this for my mom. Right. And so are, with the new cards, does that mean any changes for people who are enrolled in Medicare Part C or D? No, uh, it doesn't because in some of the um, uh, Medicare Part D is how we, uh, that's the drug prescription, mm -hmm. um, and the Part C is getting our Medicare services through private insurance. So you have separate cards for those anyway, and the, the, the uh, system, CMS, will connect your new your new uh, card or account with with those parts part okay. C and part D. Anything else you want people to know about uh, the senior Medicaid patrol program or the new card that's being rolled out, or perhaps maybe we can give um, some information to. 
again to folks. Yeah, well, I do want people to know that number. It's not since it's not the Social Security number. It is a number which is randomly generated by a computer, mm -hmm. so nobody can know that. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, it's very important that if you have any questions or if you suspect that you have been uh, defrauded, any of that, call us at Cove at one eight eight eight. 865-2863, or you can call Medicare at 1-800-MEDICARE. Um, very important to that website, mm -hmm. www.mymedicare.com. Mm -hmm. Go to that, or medicare.org, sorry. Mm -hmm. Go to that and sign up. Get yourself an account. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and talking about this important issue. Thank you, Judy. That's our program for today. I'm Judy Simpson. I'll see you again next time on Across the Fence.